Is Brahala Mobile really worth the 400 megabytes that I need to install that takes an hour for just a regular phone game that I can play anywhere else on my PS4, on my Switch, on my Xbox, on PC for absolutely the same price, but not, but not travel smart. Well, today I'll be showing you the good things about the game, the bad things about the game, and much more. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome to my Brawlhalla mobile review today. Uh, they do have it on every single console. I do want to say that out there. So if you haven't played Brawlhalla, you can play on your PS4, your Switch, your Xbox, etc. Literally whatever console you have, you can play on it. But now they're going with the Fortnite version. I mean, well not with the Fortnite version. With the Fortnite uh, way of doing things, which they are releasing on every platform. Now... The gameplay is pretty solid. Everything about it is pretty solid, to be honest. Uh, I feel like the only issues that I had was the frame was dropping a little bit. And my phone isn't bad for it to be dropping. Like I have a Samsung S9, which is not the newest phone, but it's also not old. Uh, so I didn't, I don't think I sh my frame should have dropped. Maybe it was dropping because I was recording a video. I'm not sure about that completely. But yeah, the, the game is pretty fun. Uh, I ran into a couple matches before recording this. Uh, so it is actually pretty smart to, to have it on every platform. Because now if you're on the road and you still want to play with your, with your friends, uh, with the boys, you know how it goes. Uh, you, you can always just ask for their code, start a call, an Instagram or something. And then you just get in there, you ask for the code, you put the code in, and then you can all play. And I find that really fun. Uh, I find it really smart, actually. Now, the one thing that I hate about this game that I just, it's not even the game. It's about, I don't know if it's Mammoth or Ubisoft, but they're not letting you actually account, uh, link your accounts. So let's say you bought some Mammoth coins on your Steam or PlayStation. So you cannot use those Mammoth coins on mobile. That pisses me off, bro. It pisses me off so badly because I have all the characters on my PS4 and I only played this game on PS4 and Switch and I kind of figured that they were gonna that they were gonna fix this once it came out to mobile because on my Switch I also don't play the game much because I don't have all the characters and it pisses me off that I had to waste twenty dollars to get all the characters on my PS4 and then I can't get it on my Switch or mobile. So that really is a downgrade. If if this is your first time playing it, perfect. You can just unlock all the characters. All the characters are free, but if you do want a shortcut, just pay twenty dollars and they'll give you a shortcut. Now, I used to love this game. I used to play it on the daily basis. I think I will be getting back into it though. Now now that this new release is coming out, uh, the combos are pretty difficult. Not gonna lie. I usually main scythe. That is my main weapon and katanas and i mean not, not katanas katar and and sword those are my main weapons to use but uh scythe is unplayable i feel like i pulled i was in the training mode for like half an hour and i pulled out uh, one combo at least and it wasn't even that decent of a combo so i'm pretty sure they need to fix the controls i don't know if they can do that to be honest they've done their best with the controls this is a fighting game so controls are very difficult, just like putting, uh, let's say, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom or Dragon Ball Fighters in a phone game. It's just not going to work. It's not going to have that same feel of having a controller with you. So uh, the controls, I don't know. You can't really do much about it. I don't like the change that they did with the character selection screen. I mean, it's not that I don't like it. It is convenient for the mobile player, but... I don't know i just don't like the art style much it's not my style of course that's no biggie it's just the character select screen you just gotta select your character and get into battle easy i don't know about the and <laughs> nothing much has changed about the menu uh the mammoth coins are still there now i would really appreciate it if you can start linking your accounts with everything i heard that they were gonna start linking like from pc to ps4 but then you can only move your account, which that's that's stupid, to be honest, in my opinion. When you click on the account linking, it only shows you to link your Google Play. I'm guessing it does the same thing with Apple. That's uh, I'm hoping that they're going to fix this because as it, st as it stands right now, 
I really don't want to play mobile because I don't have all my characters. And most of the character and the characters that I play personally are all locked. And I don't want to grind with some stupid character I don't like just to get a character that I do like. So the controls are, I don't know, they're, they're, just, they're just like Fortnite. Uh, as you can see, they, they all move, they all do their thing. I'm sorry if you can see the charging, my bad. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you can move them anywhere. Uh, I only see the joystick as the best one because other than that, all of them like look weird. And I mean, I like that they tried their own thing, but it's, I don't know. It just doesn't fit with me. Uh, the six, all the same, everything the same. I don't know. The gameplay is pretty fun though. Of course, the core is solid. Brawlhalla gameplay is always fun. It's always a good time to have a free game. A free game, come on. It's, it is 400 megabytes, which I think that's super low, to be honest. I have like a 50 or 60, 64 gigabyte uh, memory. So that's not a big issue to me. And I the, the graphics are pretty stable. You can notice a difference if you're playing on PS4. On Switch, not so much. So the Switch isn't that high. So yeah, everything about the game is pretty good. I do hope that they do that I mammoth or ubisoft get it through your brain please let us link our accounts it would be the best option so yeah with that uh i think i'm pretty much done with the, my review uh i would give this game an 8 out of 10 the controls are pretty are pretty wonky they're hard to get used to uh the online play is pretty good uh, of course i wasn't expecting much out of the online play because people are going to be using 4g or they're gonna be moving around on a car ride or something like that. Of course, I didn't expect much, but what I got from the online play was pretty good. So everything is pretty good. I would say just account linking should be a thing. Uh, having ha having a friends list, like uh, I could I don't need to put in the code to join my friends. That should be pretty good. Uh, uh, that, that's pretty much it to be honest. Other than that, it is just Brawlhalla, and I find everything fun about Brawlhalla. I don't know about the character select, I don't know if there should be an option where you can switch it back to normal because I like the normal one. So, yeah, just more options. Uh, just the account linking is really bothering me. Uh, the having friends, you know, the usual. But I, I don't know. I don't know which what way Ubisoft or Mammoth are going with this. But right now, they're doing a pretty good job. So props to them. If you do want to check out the game, it's on the Play Store. And I'm not sure if it's on the Apple Store, to be completely honest with you. But it is on the Play Store. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. I hope you all agree with me on this review. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Not a bad game. Could be fixed. Uh, there's not much that you can fix in a mobile version. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed. Remember to hit that like, that sub button down below. I'm also, I'm also streaming on Twitch. So if you do like Twitch, if you do like my content here, you'll probably like it over there. But yeah, down below you'll see all my content. Uh, not all my content, all my friends, all my Twitch, everything down below. You should check everything out if you want to. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. I hope you all agree with me. And yeah, have a good day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.